It's one of the worst pains known to man, but it was unknown to Tina Shores until she fell victim to trigeminal neuralgia. They say it's worse than childbirth, which I can't verify because I've never had children. So if it's anything like that, I don't want to ever have children. <laughs> it really is intense pain in the face that literally is so bad when people chew, they can't eat. And so literally some patients will almost starve to death because they can't eat and they can't talk because any movement of their face causes pain. Tina's head may have been driving her crazy, but there was a valid medical explanation for her suffering. It's actually caused by um, a, a vascular compression on the, the, fifth, the fifth nerve, the trigeminal nerve, as it exits the, uh, the brain stem. There's usually a blood vessel sitting on top of the nerve. As it pulsates, it gives off constant shooting pain. Many patients make trips to multiple doctors and dentists before finding the problem. The next step? fixing it. The definitive surgery is not for everybody. It's where we actually go into the back of the skull, go into the back of the brain, and we basically put a Teflon sponge between that blood vessel and the nerve. Older patients may choose a less invasive procedure, which doesn't require opening the skull, but it does come with a common side effect. There are other techniques, percutaneous techniques, where we actually insert a needle into the nerve and we, we burn the nerve. It leaves the face very numb, but it takes care of the pain. Tina opted to have the sponge put in to separate the nerve and blood vessel. They go in behind your right ear, or they did mine. The difference was immediate. After the surgery, I had not another pain. Not, no symptoms, nothing from, the, nothing from the surgery or the scar. For trigeminal neuralgia patients like Tina, surgery was crucial to fixing the pain in her brain. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.